Hi, my name is Cam Smith with ISN reporting for the week of August 17th from Belmont School in Lankford, BC. Thank you for tuning in. The Greater Victoria Minor Football Association kicks off its much anticipated fall program this week for new and returning players ranging in the age of 9 to 13. Return to practice leading to competition in September against teams across the island is an exciting time for the Pee Wee and Junior Band of Saanich Wolverines, bringing a much anticipated sense of normalcy for youth who have missed out on the opportunity to compete for almost two years. Having grassroots football in a community is a key component for sustaining success at the next level as youth progressively learn to play the game in a fun, safe environment built around a culture of accountability on and off the field. The success of any community sports program starts with registration and this season's return to competition is a testament that young athletes are itching to get back on the field. It's great this year. We actually didn't do much advertising and the numbers that have come to us this year has been unbelievable. Each association, Saanich Wolverines and Great uh, West Shore Warriors, we have quite large numbers between our Pee Wee and JV teams. So it's just showing that these kids are ready to play ball. So with our Pee Wee level, the kids do start at the age of nine to the age of 13 going on to 14. And that's JB and that's when they will decide what school they wish to go to and play continued football. We do have an Adam program this year and this is the first time that we've had a Saanich and a West Shore um, with two great coaches and it's great to have these kids back on the fields. Um, our association is about family, about giving back to the community, about being there for each other. You know, these kids are accountable for everything on and off the field. So this year we are very fortunate to have the coaches that we have. Um, we have Arne and Karn Dodd um, working out in Saanich and Harris Harrington. You know, they are a great part of Saanich and have been a part of Saanich forever as an alumni. And to have them back on the field helping these kids and being part of them is amazing. West Shore, we have our regular coaches. You know, Paul Precious has been out there forever since Adam. To have him be there still for JB and still be here for the next couple of years, we're very fortunate. It's been uh, quite a while, a couple of years, but back on the field, how is it being out here with these kids? Oh, it's, it, this is great for, for the kids and for coaches too. Um, it, it's just been too long for us. Uh, we did a spring here at Belmont and we had a lot of kids even then uh, in no gear and uh, they had a lot of fun, learned a lot of stuff and a lot of them are back, which is great. Fantastic. And lastly, um, you know, the coaches out here, you got a good coaching staff, and, and it's very important to have that support yeah. for yeah. these kids. And, you know, this is feeder. Community football is very important for high school, mm -hmm. for college, university, all the way through. Just tell me about the developmental that you guys bring to Oh, yeah. Kids. it's a, This is where it all starts for, for a lot of them. And, uh, you know, we try and do the best job that we can, you know, with the coaches that we have. Uh, some of them have been with us for a long time, the West Shore. Uh, one of my coaches this year, I coached when he was a little one, so he's paying back with, uh, with his time and uh, energy too, so it, it, it's great. Giving back to a sport that has given so much is what it's all about, and the impact it makes on youth is a difference maker in their young football careers. When you're talking about young men, you're, you're talking about a, a stepping stone for their entire life, right? It, it's a lot more than just about football. It's about, uh, you know, creating a sense of being part of something, giving a kid a purpose. Maybe he doesn't have to, you know, find that somewhere else. That's what football was for me at a young age. It, it allowed me to become a part of something that I didn't get to. So for me, it's an opportunity to give back. If I can help make a kid feel like he has a purpose or a reason, to, something to look forward to, something to be proud of themselves in, then that's everything to me. Uh, you know what, I think you can see it in the kids for sure. I think after a, you know, a year or two of just sitting around and not getting to be active and fly around and you know, take their energy out, I think you can see it here today. I think the kids, you know, for a lot of guys being on the field, not playing football, maybe even before in their life, or kids who have to take that two year break. The energy was good, you know, the commitment was good, the, the attention to detail, the listening to coaching, everything was on par today. I know that majority of these kids, that when they do get to their high school level, that they want to give back. I have those junior kids come back and junior coach between both high schools. Our community football is about helping the high schools in any way we can and from those high schools helping them move on to senior teams like the Rebels or the VI Raiders or Okanagan Suns, wherever they have their potential. But we're here to help these kids achieve their goals. I have 11 year olds talking about future schools that they're going to, like UBC and SFU for medical programs. They're 11 and 12. 
you know, at 11 and 12, I was throwing rocks into the river. So to have these get kids think of their future already and working towards scholarships and what programs they need going into high school or going into the future, this is what we're all about. We're all about community and helping these kids achieve these goals that they want to achieve. It's nice to be back after like two years and just, I'm really excited to be back playing football. This is your senior year for the West Shore Warriors, and that's an important year, you know, going yeah. into high school, right? And just uh, tell me about this team. You know, I know it's your first day, but how is it being with the, the team and, the, you know, that, that bond that you have with your teammates that you're going to develop over the year? It's nice being with um, the team. There's some people I know, and then there's some new people, and it's just nice getting to um, know everybody and just playing. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it's all-inclusive, and it's just a lot of fun overall. You can... You can learn a lot of stuff. I'm excited, I'm really excited. I haven't played a game in a long time. I haven't hit people in a long time. The sounds of tackle football is back in the community and the excitement these young athletes bring to the table heading into a season in September is refreshing to say the least. My name is Cam Smith with ISN. This has been a Youth Sports Production. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the field. Way to go, way to go.